So, let's preview the Watford versus Arsenal game. It's the evening kickoff on Saturday, so we're going to be sat there knowing all the results of the previous games and all the teams around us by the time we kick off. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we shall see. Before we start this preview, go and check out my last video, which is a Premier League predictor video, where I predict all the scores, my opinion, for the weekend. Um, let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know whether your predictions will be any different and be sure to leave comments on the video. And don't forget to donkey punch the fuck out the like button. Anyway, I listened to Arsene Wenger's press conference this morning. A few things grabbed my attention. First thing, Mesut Ozil and Danny Welbeck are back in training. So that's good news for Arsenal because Danny Welbeck was doing really well until he went down with another injury. Um, Kalasenak, he's got a hip problem. He's going to undergo a fitness test. And as it stands, Lauren Koscielny, Arsene Wenger said, will not be available unless he passes a fitness test tomorrow. But as it stands, he's not available. Um, Alexis Sanchez isn't even back from the game he played the other night on international duty. Um, and they're going to assess his mental state after we all know what fucking happened the other night. Um, I'm sure David Ospina is not his best mate right now. But there we go. On to the game itself. I expect a tight game. A lot of people are going on like we're going to go and absolutely blitz Watford. But they've got a good manager. I really rate their manager. I think he's a good up-and-coming manager. And his home record in the last four or five years has been exceptional for all the teams he's managed. I don't expect that to change on Saturday. Um, I think that we will win the game. But it's going to be a tight game. And it could come down to a bit of individual brilliance. So with that being said, I'm going to get into my 1-11. Be sure to smash the like button, leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys think of my predicted 1-11. to In goal, Petr Cech, David Ospina is just simply not good enough to start in my team. And Peter Cech has been pretty decent recently. So yeah, he's my goalkeeper for this game. I'm going to play with a back three. Um, although our defenders are dropping like flies, I still think that we're going to go with a back three against Watford. Right wing back, I'm going with Hector Bellerin. He's started to get back to his old self in recent weeks. And yeah, he's doing all right. So I'm, I'm happy with him at right back. Plus the fact we ain't really got anyone else. Left back, left wing back. Um, I'm going to go with Kolasinac. Even though Wenger said that he's got a slight hip injury, I think the guy will be fine. And he's absolutely superb. The geezer's built like a brick shit house. So a slight hip injury is not going to rule him out of this game. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The back three, obviously, Mustafi's out. Koscielny's undergoing a late fitness test. So, Callum Chambers is injured. And congratulations to Callum Chambers as well. He's just signed a new contract at Arsenal. Um, so, yeah, fair play to him. I don't rate him as highly as a lot of people do. And I, I think we should have sold him in the summer. But he's here. He's signed a new deal. So, let's get behind the guy for now. Um, obviously, he's injured as well, like I just said. So it leaves us a little bit of a headache for the back three. Nacho Monreal has probably been our best player this season. Um, so he's definitely going to start in that three. I'm going to go with Per Mertesacker um, in the middle of the three. And the other side of the three, I am going with Rob Holding. Rob Holding's done really well in the last couple of games. He scored his first goal for Arsenal the other day as well in the Europa League against Borisov. So yeah, I'm fully confident that them three at the back, along with the wing-backs, are uh, more than capable of dealing with Watford's strike force. In midfield, this is where I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going with Jack Wilshere. Xhaka, unfortunately, isn't getting in my team. I think he's been piss poor of late. His sloppy passes left, right and centre, which are leading to goals and putting the defence in trouble. So I'm going with Jack Wilshere. Alongside him, Aaron Ramsey, who had an absolute stinker the other day for Wales. Um, as they lost at home to Ireland. But Aaron Ramsey for Arsenal this season has done all right. So I'm going to put him alongside Jack. Now on to the attacking positions. Um, I'm going to go with Alex Awobi. The guy qualified his nation for the World Cup the other night, coming on as a substitute and scoring the goal. 
Um, so he is now a hero back in Nigeria and fair play to him. He scored in his last Premier League game against Brighton and I think he's fully deserving of a start. So I'm going with Alex Iwobi and partnering him just behind the striker, I am going to go with Mesut Ozil. I think Mesut Ozil's got a point to prove at Arsenal. Um, I think that this contract bullshit, and it is fucking bullshit, because it's he said, she said, fucking nobody said. His agent's coming out with shit. He's come out with shit over the last six months about how he loves the club and wants to stay and all the bollocks. Um, but he ain't signed a contract. So does he love the club? Well, it's time to show us whether you love the club, mate. So I'm going to pick you and I'm going to partner you just behind or just next to Alex Iwobi. Now go against Watford and show us exactly what you can do. We know there's a player in there and show us that you do genuinely love the club and you do genuinely want to stay. Now, in front of them, I'm going with a £50 million man. I'm going with Alexander Lacazette. Um, the guy, like I've said millions of times before, is absolutely world class. It's just a shame we don't see him for 90 minutes. Hopefully, this weekend we will. And with Alex Iwobi full of confidence and Mesut Ozil with a point to prove, I can't see any reason why he will not score goals against Watford this weekend. So, that's my 1-11. to Let me know in the comments section down there what you guys would do. Let me know if you agree with some of the selections I've made. And if not, let me know. Tell me. Tell me what you'd do differently. Um, anyway, like I said... The previous video I did was a Premier League predictor. Go and check that out. Let me know what you guys think of the video. It's going to be a weekly feature on my channel. Don't forget to donkey punch the fuck out of the like button on this video. That always helps me along my way. And it lets me know that you're liking the content. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Where the fuck you been? And leave your comments in the comments section down below. Laters, peeps. Thank you.